the media feel that, and this is fundamentally what, um, why I decided to, when MSNBC let me go, why I decided to uh, make a, a bigger issue of it than they had hoped it would be. And it is because there is this sense that the media has, frankly, even corporations have, that you can avoid controversy in this context. Now, maybe, and I think partly because of the polarization we have in this country, partly because of technology that exists now, social media, those days are over. And you may think you're avoiding controversy, but what you're ultimately doing is you're choosing a side. And corporations, I know it's really more of, it's less imperative in my mind that they choose a side. They want to uh, attempt to be neutral and just get caught up in this and their brand is hurt, whatever. That's, that's, that's a corporate decision to make. But if you're a media outlet and you are part of our society that gets special rights in some respects, right? I mean, the media is uh, far more protected in some uh, instances because it's the media, because it has an important role to fulfill in society. Constitution, Constitution uh, makes reference of, of a free press and um, there's, a, there's a greater obligation for the way that you function in society. And not only can you not avoid controversy in this day and age, not only are you uh, choosing a side, you have to, but if you do not have the ability to make a clear-eyed assessment of that tweet, which you could show, I mean, we had support of that tweet from the guy from InfoWars, from Red State, Eric Erickson, who blocks me, who has blocked me for years, said that tweet was obviously satire. Other people from Red State, InfoWars. If you as a media outlet that is a mainstream media outlet, you're not, you're not, you're dealing with millions and millions of dollars of production. If you do not have the ability to stand behind a rational assessment of reality, then there is only fake news. If, if you cannot make an assessment that when you walk out your door at 12 noon in New York City and you look up and you see that there's a sun there, and if you cannot make the assessment that the sun is there in the sky, because it's 12 noon today, then you have lost your entire reason to exist as a media outlet. But David Duke tells me that it's evening and that the Jews were involved. I, look, I don't want to deal with this. But no it, more controversy. It's, it, you know, I'm divorcing this from, who, from who's on what side, but simply saying that across the board, I cite these people not because they have different politics than I. I cite them because it's indicative of how any reasonable, rational adult could tell what the meaning of that tweet was. And you pretended at MSNBC because you had to, you had to make some type of excuse when you talked to the rap. But you also pretended when you didn't come. I mean, on day one, you should have just said, that tweet is fine. We don't need to address this. And your failure to do that, I mean, frankly, you know, look, I, at the end of the day, my folks aren't going to be able to say, you know, have people come up to them and say, we saw your son on TV. That's going to be the largest impact on my life, aside from the fact that I won't have to shave as much and I won't, my shirt, the quality of my shirts are going to diminish uh, greatly. Which now. will affect all of us. Which are going to affect everybody. Sort of bathing habits but stuff. the bottom line is we have a real problem in this country. If the media can't even do and make definitive the most basic of assessments that is their job 
That is not a value judgment. That is, we are English speakers. We understand how sentences are constructed. We understand meaning is derived from context. And all of those things were available to MSNBC. And the fact that they would not choose to exercise even the most basic sense of, of assessing a situation is the real problem. And the media has got to change because if they don't, then there is no difference between fake news and not fake news. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.